Hello everyone, today it's time to do a little bit of weed control. As I mentioned in a couple of my previous videos, I have a lot of clover creeping into this yard. So today I'm going to try to get a handle on that. So because I like to do experiments, I decided that I'm going to do half of the yard with a hose end sprayer and the other half of my backyard with a tank sprayer. What I have available for me today is the Weed Be Gone. And the reason to, that I'm using this is just because I have it on hand and you know me, I don't like to waste things. So I so did a little bit of a test spot with it a couple weeks ago and I think it's going to work, but it'll also just be a test of this product to see if it's going to be good enough for what we're doing. So for half the yard, I'm going to be using this hose and sprayer. I'll put a link to it um, where you can find it on Amazon. And basically how this works, I just fill this up with concentrate according to the label directions on there. And then you set the dial according to the directions as well. And then you just hook up your water hose and spray this out wherever you need it. So that's going to be one part of the test. The next part is going to be using this old tank sprayer that I have just a cheapy model from like Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that. I can't remember where I got it, but uh, this is just going to be filling this up. I'm probably not going to fill it all the way because I don't need uh, probably a gallon of this. I only need maybe half a gallon. We'll do this time. And then we'll just uh, experiment with half the yard with this to see which one maybe works a little bit better and see if there's a difference at all. Also, I'm going to be using a little bit of shampoo mixed in with the chemical as a surfactant to try to get those uh, clover leaves to be a little bit more wet across the surface instead of little droplets on there. So that's what we're doing today. Time to get out in the yard and get to work. All right, so according to directions here, we need 16 ounces of concentrate added to this. And then it says to set the dial to two and a half ounces spray evenly over 2,500 square feet. So we're probably gonna have a little bit extra here, but I just wanna set this to what the directions say. And then it says if you have any concentrate left over, you can just put it back into the container. So this works a little bit differently than this mentions the ortho dial and spray applicator, which I don't have that brand, but this one does not have ounces settings on the top. It has tablespoons. So I looked up the manual on this thing and it said that Two tablespoons is one ounce is equivalent to one ounce. Of course, we need two and a half here, so that would mean that we're setting this dial to five. And the little indicator is uh, this little knob on this side right here. Okay, so now we're at five, and all we're gonna do is just fill this thing up, hook it up to the hose, and we'll spray half of the yard. It's gonna be the part that I showed you a couple days ago, if you watch any of my backyard updates, where the clover is the heaviest, kind of by our small oak tree. That's where we're going to be spraying this, and it's kind of going to be more of a blanket application in that area because, because the clover is just all over the place there. It's not centralized to a certain location. <laughs> The tank sprayer is going to be just a little bit different. You need two and a half ounces per gallon. And again, as I mentioned, I don't think I need a whole gallon of this mixed up. So I'm going to do a half gallon, which would mean 1.25 ounces. It gave us this little thing here to measure. There is not a 1.25 option, but I can just go halfway in between the 1.5 and the 1. That should give us what we need. fill that up but I'm also going to add the shampoo now. I have a clean one of these that I kept over the years because it has the nice little measurements in it. So we're going to add here just a little over a half an ounce of soap, uh, maybe just a little bit more. about an ounce uh, space in there, just a little less. So we're gonna add the shampoo to this one. All right, as I mentioned, this is the side that I'm gonna be spraying, kind of blanket spraying here because the clover is pretty much embedded throughout all those areas. 
So what I'm trying to do is just get this spread as evenly as possible and make sure that I'm not spraying any of the areas uh, any heavier than any of the surrounding areas. I'm just trying to kind of blanket this area and get all this clover throughout. You can kind of see it down in there if you look closely. It's kind of everywhere. You see another spot coming up right here where you can get a good view of it. Alright, so half of my backyard is a little over 2,000 square feet. So the container said it should cover 2,500 square feet with 16 ounces, and I'm done with half of it. So we're pretty close to the right application right there, very close actually. I'm gonna finish off this container um, outside of the backyard area here, just on my little side yard where I have a little bit of, of clover coming in there, and then we'll get to the tank sprayer. Right now we're moving to the tank sprayer and I'm just going to be walking up and down the yard here with this. Again, I'm not blanket spraying because I have a lot less clover on this side of the yard. I'm just going to walk up and down kind of in a pattern here and make sure I'm staying in my lines and just continue to go up and down the yard and spray whatever I see as I go. And if you look at the trees, it is a little bit windy today, so I'm trying to kind of keep this down low to the ground, a little bit lower than maybe you'd want to, but I don't want this to drift anywhere else. I just want to hit this little bit of clover and kind of keep it down tight to the yard. Give you a little bit of a different view here with kind of what I was seeing. This is going to finish up the spraying for this video and I hope you'll stay tuned. I'll have the results coming up in a video very soon. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.